Welcome to the Under Monkey Syndrome. A lot has happened since you last saw me in the video I did with Dr. Becker, where we dared to talk about vitamin I, which YouTube subsequently censored. And yes, even though our government has since approved it for use, YouTube still insists that they know better because they've declared themselves the rulers of human thought. So the video remains censored. Because of it, I spent a lot of time over the last two weeks coming up with a new strategy because this type of censorship severely influences the little bit of income that I make from producing these videos. And this particular one was just starting to attract a few donations when YouTube decided to censor it. But you'll hear all about the new changes in upcoming videos. For the time being, just know the videos will go out on six different platforms, not just YouTube and BitChute. I will keep posting to those channels as well as Odyssey, Gab TV, DTube, and Rumble. There is also a name change coming up and you'll hear all about that pretty soon. But for today, we are going to get into cryptocurrency. I've said over the last few months that I'm going to start training my audience how to use cryptos and that is what we are going to start with today. A few things I just want to get out of the way from the start. None of what I'm going to show you today is going to cost you any money. I'm going to attempt to show people how to use cryptocurrencies not how to trade them. Those are two entirely different things. I'm going to focus on usage so that we can transact with each other outside of the banking system. Secondly, this is part of my war on banks because they absolutely deserve it. Now there's more to this than just switching to using crypto, but we'll get to that later. There is a whole nother world out there I'm going to try and show you. And I hope all of you join the ride, even if you don't end up using it and just do it to learn something new. Today is going to be mainly about giving you homework so that you can set yourself up and follow along in future episodes. You can think of a crypto wallet as a bank account. And we are going to have a look at a few different mobile wallets that can hold a variety of crypto tokens to install on your smartphone. We are going to set up an exchange account so that you can move back and forth between the banking system and crypto. We are also going to look at a new browser with a rewards program so you can reward creators like me with their own token. And it also has a separate Ethereum wallet extension that will allow you to transact right out of your browser. And lastly, I'll give you a list of a few cryptocurrencies to go research. Once again, if you found any value in this video, please consider making a donation to one of the traditional channels listed in the description of this video below, or if you are already a crypto user to one of the crypto wallets on your screen. Let's go. Number one, installing a crypto wallet to your mobile device. I'm going to show you three crypto wallets here that are well known, trusted and widely used. And you will notice you have to supply zero personal information to install these wallets, not even an email address. Go to your phone's app store and look for the following three wallets. Jack's Liberty, Exodus and Trust Wallet. Install all of them if you want, it doesn't cost anything, and play around with them and see which one you like best. Exodus Wallet is the only one in that group that can hold Monero, an important privacy coin, so if that is important to you, keep that in mind. These wallets are super simple to install, just follow the instructions and do write down your recovery phrase. Cryptos give all the power and responsibility of keeping your funds safe to you. And your recovery phrase is the key to your wallet. You can think of this as the pin code to your bank account. If someone else has this, they can gain instant access to your bank account or to your crypto wallet. So write down your recovery phrase, keep it safe, be a responsible adult. Number two, register an exchange account. Exchanges do exactly what their name says. They exchange national fiat currencies for cryptos or cryptos for other cryptos. Most of these exchanges only require an email address to register and you only need to supply any further documentation if you are going to be moving fiat national currencies into or out of the exchange. If you're not going to do that with your exchange account and you're only going to use it for crypto in, crypto out, you don't need to supply any other documentation and you only need an email address to register your exchange account. Locally, we have three major exchanges that I know of. I'm not even going to waste your time in telling you to check all of them out. Just go to altcointrader.co.za and create an account there. It is the simplest platform and their support is excellent. 
Once you have registered your Altcoin Trader account, follow their instructions to verify your account and link your bank account. This will be your gateway between the vampiric banking system and the crypto world. Set up two-factor authentication to make your account secure. They explain how to do it, just follow instructions. Do not be phased or intimidated by the graphs, etc. that look complex. I honestly never use these graphs on that exchange. Setting up your altcoin trader account may take a day or two, so I suggest you do it right away and get ready. Number three, this is a way in which people can support me in particular in a way that wouldn't cost them any money. Download and install the Brave browser. Do a little research about their rewards program. They have a crypto token for their ecosystem called BAT, Basic Attention Token, that you basically just earn by using the browser and consenting to view ads. And they can be donated straight from the browser to any Brave registered creator, which I am. The browser also offers a separate Ethereum wallet, which allows you to transact straight out of your browser. No bank in sight. Number four, a few cryptocurrencies for you to go research in the sea of confusion. These cryptos can be divided into two broad categories, 100% crypto coins and stable coins. The 100% cryptocurrencies also includes a subcategory that we refer to as privacy coins. The considerations in picking these for you to research were transaction cost, transaction speed, and privacy. Let's start with the straight up cryptos. I want you all to go research Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Dash, Monero, Zcash, and Verge. From this list, the ones considered to be privacy coins are Monero, Zcash, and Verge. Again, I picked these because they are cheap to transact, much faster transacting times than Bitcoin, and obviously the privacy coins speak for themselves. Looking at the stable coins, please look at TUSD or TrueUSD, PAX, PAX Gold, and DAI or DAI. Before it all becomes too much, I think we can end it off here for today. I think this is enough homework. I hope you found some value in this. If you are just starting to look into cryptocurrencies, we will carry on with this maybe next week once everyone has had sufficient time to install everything and do the necessary research. Again, if you found value, please consider making a donation through the channels listed in the description of this video. I am 100% dependent on your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Please remember to click subscribe and the bell for notifications and you can find us in the following places.